Good boss YouTube, hopefully y'all are having a good day today and I actually have another Pokemon Showdown Live narrated battle. Um, I actually did one last week and I got a pretty a good amount of feedback from that so I thought I would continue doing this. Anyways, uh, looking to throw some opponent's team. I th oh, he has Rotom. Rotom, I've, I've used Rotom mode form in UU and this thing is awesome. Um, anyways, more than likely going to be Scarfed. As for leads, you can lead off with either the Manchow, the Ambipom, or the Rotom. So I think... Uh, sorry about that time. So I think my best lead should be Gligar because I can take hits from two of those. And he might not lead off with Rotom, fearing me leading off with Victini. Um, so yeah, I think Gligar should be my best lead as he leads off with the Ambipom. Okay, good. This is good. And I'm actually going to go for the Toxic, considering that outside of Bronzong, I hit his entire team and he goes for knockoff. Okay, that is not good because now this guy is not going to be taking hits nearly as well as it would have been able to. Um, he might just switch into Bronzong this turn after going for the U-turn, so I'm just going to get up my Stealth Rocks as he does bring in Bronzong. I guess maybe he doesn't carry U-turn, so I guess that's some nice valuable information. As again, just probably going to go for the Stealth Rocks, so I'm just going to switch directly out into my uh, Victini. I kind of want to go straight for the V create, but I think Bolt Strike would be the better play to do. Because I hit the Chandelure and I hit the Blastoise. I hit the Blastoise for super effective damage, and even neutral Choice Banded Bolt Strike should do a good amount of damage to the Chandelure. As he does bring in Chandelure, go for the Bolt Strike and. Oh, clean Oko! Yeah, oh my god! Oh, the power! Odd, oh, I'm trying to. Th I don't. The fucking power, forget it. Oh my god, yes! Too powerful, not bad. Alright, brings in the Ambipom, don't want to get knocked off or hit with the return, so I'm just going to switch out into my Gligar as he goes for the Fake Out. Um, I guess he didn't go for it first turn considering that he really wouldn't do anything to Gligar, so yeah, man, oh, getting rid of that uh, Chandelure was just amazing. Okay, he brings in the Blastoise, um, he might just go for the Rapid Spin, so I'm going to go for the Toxic as he does go for it. Luckily, because I get the Toxic, I can now wear it down. But this also means I can bring in my own uh, spinner and go for that considering that he did lose a Chandelure. I don't want to take a Scald and even if he goes for Ice Beam, Roserade should be able to take both of those as he does go for it and he gets a fucking crit. Uh, so now they switch out to Rotom or Bronzong is pretty obvious. So I, I have to go for the rest. I have to have to go for rest. As he brings in the Rotom, I'm more than likely just going to be Choice Scarf because that's the most common set in UU, at least from the small amount of times that I've seen Rotom in UU, Ro 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 Rotom Mo and Rotom Heat. Also I used to run um, Scarfed as well. Uh, he could go for the Hidden Power Fire. I think my best switching will be Porygon 2 as he predicts, I don't know if he predicts, holy crap! Okay, okay this man, oh this man, this man, this is a man right here. <laughs> uh, I want to bring in Gligar. Because I should still be able to take high jump kick considering that I do resist it. As he goes for that. Look at that. 25%. I don't even have the Eviolite. Look at that Gligar. Man, disregard what I said earlier. Gligar still has some good ass bulk to it. But because he did reveal to me that he has the Ice Beam. I know he's going to go for that. Then again he could also just go for the Scald. And if he does burn my Rosary that could be pretty bad for me. Um... Well, actually, no, it wouldn't be too bad considering I can just rest up as he pulls a double out into the Manchow. The way he's switching around with it has me thinking that maybe he's Choice Banded. Uh, even then, I should still be able to take the possible uh, high jump kick and switch out as he goes for the U-turn and gets off a good amount of damage. Although, I don't think that is uh, Choice Banded damage because that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. Uh, then again, there's a possibility that he is. I haven't run damage calcs with Manchow, so I really don't know. I'm just saying what I think it is. So don't quote me on that. Um, the Jarrah Ball is pretty obvious, but I can get up another layer of spikes before I have to go for the rest. As he gets off 40%. I believe that's maximum damage because uh, minimum damage or very low damage is around 33 to 37%. And because he got 40%, he is probably uh, getting max damage with that. As he brings back in the Mancha, I'm just going to go for the rest. Uh, again, he could just go straight for the U-turn, but either way, my best switching, due to the fact of how much damage the high jump kick did earlier to my Gligar, this is my best switching as he predicts that. Goes for the Hidden Power Ice, and holy crap, nearly takes me out. Actually, because he is now locked into that, I can bring in Fryligator and Dragon Dance. 
but because even if I was Jolly, this Rotom being Jolly Scarf still outspeeds me. He does still have the Blastoise. So yeah, there's I really can't do that. Damn it. Um, actually, once you finish this off, I can get a free switch into Victini and hit that Blastoise for a good 40%, and maybe even after the Hazards, be able to 2 kill with the V Create. So I'm just gonna stay in and go for the Roost as he does finish me off. Unfortunately, this does mean I can no longer get up my Stealth Rocks. It shouldn't be that big of an issue as I do go out into my Vitini. I'm just going to straight for the V-Create because with Chandelure gone, uh, something is going to get incinerated and he's going to bring in the Ambipalm. I guess not. I guess knowing that a V-Create should be able to 2 kill the Blastoise from prior experience. So that isn't a total bad play on his part. And now I don't have to worry about knock off knocking off any more uh, items on my team as he does bring in the blastoise i kind of want to go straight for the v crate considering that he more than likely would go for the rapid spin and even if he doesn't i should still be able to live a scald so i think v crate is still the best move for me to go for as he goes for the scald or the rapid spin scald rapid spin okay not bad and even then i should still be faster than him and finish him off with the v crate Come on, come on, Victini, please be faster. No, he's faster than me, no! Oh, fuck! I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm a total idiot! Why the hell did I, why did I do that? Oh! That was really fucking stupid of me, that was really extremely stupid of me to do. I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have fucking done that. Uh... I'm just gonna go straight for the close combat. Uh, he's gonna bring in the Rotom. Okay, that's interesting. Holy crap, an easy 2 AKO. Easy. But now I'm fearing that he could be Specs and go for Leaf Storm and just destroy my Rotom. Um, I think the most useless thing on my team at the current moment is Porygon 2. Just because I do kind of need my Rosary to take it from that. Uh, then again, I can so. Actually, no, yeah, Rosary should be the best switching because I know he's not gonna go for the Hidden Power Ice. Uh, risking me switching into Porygon 2 as he goes for the Volt Switch. Yeah, that thing is not uh, Specs because that would have done, that should have done way more than that. As he brings in the Manchow. Okay, the way he keeps bringing this in is really starting to annoy me. Uh, he's just going to U turn out into the Bronzong. So, I, so it really doesn't matter what I go for because either way he's going to force me to switch out. So I think going for the rest would be the better play in this situation. Holy crap! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Can we please stop with this hacks? Can we, can, can we calm down? Can we, can, can we just be friends around here? And yeah, he did bring the Bronzong, as I do go for the rest. Unfortunately, I have nothing for this Bronzong now unless I set up with my Feraligator. Fuck! Oh, I can freely just go for Toxic. I think, I think Hitmon Top is my better switch in right now at this current moment. As he more than likely will go for the Toxic, considering I am a force to switch out. And actually, now I can freely go for close combat because whatever he brings in. Is gonna be hitting. Is gonna be getting hit hard with this uh, close combat. As he stays in, clean 35%. Not bad. Not bad at all. And he's gonna go for the earthquake 70%. I really have nothing to worry about either, because again, if I can get off a good amount of damage on this Bronzong, I should be in a good situation to where I can hopefully get up two Dragon Dances with my Feraligator and just go from there. And even another Gyro Ball or Earthquake shouldn't uh, knock me down. Okay, here I can go for Rapid Spin. But I think going for the close combat will be the better play. And please... Actually, if he switches out into Mancha, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. As he lives on 2%, that's actually it's actually pretty fine. Uh, no big deal. Gyro Ball, unfortunately, with the combination of Toxic, will be able to finish me off. And I... Okay, okay, okay. I could bring in for Alligator, go for a Dragon Dance as he Toxic, go for one more Dragon Dance and go from there, and I think that should be the better thing to do. So yeah, come on, let's go. Let's go for, for Alligator. My last chance, my last chance right here. Come on, I got this, I got this. He's gonna go for Toxic. He's gonna go for Toxic. Yes! Yes! Oh, I got this, I got this. Come on, come on. One more Dragon Dance. One more Dragon Dance, and I should be in a good position to hopefully sweep him. Actually, no, I think going for one more would be the better play. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, should I go for it? Because that Rotom could still be faster than me. Yeah, okay, one more Dragon Dance. All right, all right. This is the moment of truth. Do not crit me. Yes! And... Oh my... Yes, is this really gonna happen? Is this about to happen? For Alligator's about to put in some work. Yes, yes, yes! Clean take out the Bronzong, come on, come on, come on, oh. bring the Blastoise, I think Aqua just should finish it off, yes, come on, live the Toxic Recoil, and, no, oh, damn it, 
Damn it, damn it, damn it. Actually, no, 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 no. I should still be in a good position, actually, now that I think about it. Um, come on, come on. Uh, he brings in the man shell. The best move for him to go for is going to be the U-turn. And obviously, I can take those for days. So I should be able to freely go for the sludge bomb. Take out the Rotom. Uh, he went for U-turn. And he did go into Rotom. Come on, Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb. He has to lock himself into a move. High jump kick. Come on, Sludge Bomb. No! Ah, oh, come on. Miss, 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 miss. No. Uh, I think that's going to be game. Because I'm pretty sure Ro uh, Porygon 2 cannot live a hit. Pretty sure it cannot. Oh, I lived! What? Yes! Oh! Not bad, Porygon 2. Holy crap, that was that was an insane game. I should have not got cocky with my Paraligator like I did there. I should have just left it at plus 2, and then I could have finished it off with that. But yeah, very intense game. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Sorry it was a bit longer, but I believe this opponent was much better than the one I had in my previous um, Pokemon Showdown Live narration. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy it, uh, like, comment, subscribe as you please. I do believe I am out of here, so enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, later.